So today we're going to go through a quick market recap, talk about the six coins we've recently talked about in the top three coins I'm buying in this bear market, and then the top three coins I'm buying in this bear market part two. We're going to check them out, seeing if they're doing well, if they're not, if we're still dollar cost averaging, if I was able to even get in, and then talk about two crypto articles that I feel is pretty relevant, kind of exciting, and pretty good news actually. Let's get started. Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Before we begin, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. We are so close to that 8,000 mark. I am super excited. I know it's been super slow because the market's been awful, but we're almost there. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button, and of course, all of you, smash that like button. Let's get started. So first, if we check out the market, it's actually been pretty positive lately, which it's almost like we're not used to anymore. Bitcoin's up, everything's pretty green. There's only a few that are down. Coins like Wanchain's been doing good. Fusion, there's been a lot of positive, but the market cap is still 270 million. So it's actually not moving that much. The good thing is Bitcoin's not really determining if the market's going up. We wanna try to stray away from altcoins relying on Bitcoin, and I'm hoping that we're moving that way. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's check out those six coins. So first we have Wanchain. So Wanchain is at $4.43, and it reached to about $4.70 at its high today. This is actually worrying me because I did not get in, I did not get more coins. I wanted to add a good chunk uh, into my portfolio and I didn't. And as you can see here, it was $3.15 on April 2nd when I did the Top Coins video. So we're actually pretty far from that. <laughs> if you were able to jump in and you did jump in, you're probably pretty happy. And I don't know if you sold or you're just gonna hold and then keep dollar cost averaging if it goes down, but I'm hoping and I'm praying that this goes back to this price because I want more coins. So something important about Wanchain, and I've been seeing this on many cryptocurrency Facebook groups, do not, and I repeat, do not send your Wanchain coins from your Binance account, your KuCoin account, to your Mu or an ERC20 wallet. They are not an ERC20 token. You have to download the, the Wanchain wallet and store your coins there. If you do that, you have the potential to lose all your coins. Please do not do that. So keep them in the exchange or send them to the WAN chain wallet. It's the only option you have right now. Next, let's check out Dragon Chain. So Dragon Chain is up to 71 cents right now. And when we bought this, or when we talked about this, it was at 57 cents. This was on April 2nd when I did the first coin video. So yeah, I did not grab more coins again. Over two. I failed. <laughs> This is an ERC token, you can send it. You actually do wanna send it. So this is completely opposite from Wanchain. You wanna send this to your Mew, your MetaMask as soon as possible because then your slumber score goes up and the higher your slumber score goes up, the better chance you have at getting a discount or a better price for the Dragon Chain ICOs. A huge incentive to hold and I love that about this coin. And of course, our third coin on the April 2nd video is Blockport. So Blockport is at 25.4 cents, which means it's actually gone down since we've done that video, which was almost 30 cents. So this is interesting. It's the only coin that has actually gone down out of the six. With that being said, I am trying to buy more right now, right at the second. It's kind of funny, actually. I have a fairly big order, and every time I put it in, an order almost the exact same size jumps in, one sat above me, super annoying, and there's not any big sell order, so I can't just buy it. So right now I have an order in, pretty much over three, but this one I'm not too worried about missing when I did the video. Dollar cost averaging this one, and I do plan on getting it. This one is an ERC20 token, so you can store it in your Mew or MetaMask. Next, we have Origin Trail, and this one's at 13.1 cents. When we did our video, it was at 11.8. As you can see here, it's about 1,700 sats. So what I did was I put in order for about 1,632 sats, 
but I took it off because I wanted to move it a little bit up to about 1650. When I took it off, KuCoin did it. Hey, you need to redo your Google authentication. Well, I did not have my cell phone. And because of that, I did not re-upload or re-put my order. And then there was a huge sell-off of about 400,000 track and I missed out, obviously. So what am I, 0 for 4? Yeah, killing me. Now it's at 1900 sats. I'm FOMOing hard, guys. Stefanos is like, hey, just wait. Don't FOMO. Bitcoin could drop. If Bitcoin drops, it could, this could drop. So we'll see if Stefanos is right here. <laughs> Let me know. What are you guys doing in this moment? What is your strategy on track if you're trying to jump in or did you already jump in? Next, we have 0x. So 0x is at 60.4 cents right now. And this was April 7th when we did this part two video. Back then, it was 55 cents. So this one's gone up about five cents. That's not huge, but it's still pretty significant. You'd be pretty excited if you got in. This one's a little unique though. So compared to the last four coins, those are my four that I'm really trying hard to jump in. Zero X is still kind of high market cap in my opinion. So I'm not really pushing hard to get this one. Now, if it hits the 40 cent range, which 48 cents, 45, then I'm gonna go hard. But for now, I'm kind of laying off. I still love this coin though. You guys know I love this project and we know it has huge potential. Already hit the billion mark. But for now, I'm laying off. Now our last coin, definitely not least, is Icon. We're at $2.26. When we did our video, it was at $2.06. This is of course one of the top coins out there, one of the top projects. I actually don't have any right now. I sold it when it was about three something. Back when Ian Bellina did his thing, I think I sold it right before. I do wanna jump back in. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do that. There's so many good coins out there and I don't like getting tiny portions. I don't like getting like 400 coins. I don't feel like that's very significant. What do you guys think? Zero X and Icon are the two out of the six that I'm not pushing as hard. Just letting you guys know that. So I was 0 for 6, did not get any coins. I have buy orders out there. We'll see if they hit. <laughs> So on a side note, I wanted to let you guys know that Stefanos and I, today or tomorrow, we're gonna finish up WAN Chain and put it on our coin score sheet. Now I did share that a while ago and let you guys know that we were working on it, but getting sick and Stefano's been super busy so we haven't been able to work on it, but I am super excited to get that out to you as soon as possible. It is so detailed, so awesome, so much information that literally updates in real time, which will allow the score to update in real time. And I know you guys will love that. I am super excited to show you. Now let's get going to crypto news. So our first piece of news is Bitrix is taking new customers again. So I actually didn't know that they were continually withholding new members. Now I know it happened sometime in December where they stopped, but it sounds like they just started again. That's kind of crazy. The The market stopped. There was a lot of, or not didn't stop. The market slowed down and there was a lot of less people trading. Well, they revamped their website as you can see here, which I think is beautiful. The other website wasn't bad, it's a little outdated. This one looks awesome. I have not explored the marketplace, but I love these colors. These are like my two favorite colors. As you can see, I always, always wear these colors. <laughs> this is their enhanced website with improved security according to their announcement. So the CEO stated that it's Bitrix responsibility to provide customers with a reliable platform and outstanding customer service. So I guess let's see if they deliver. I know the platform before was awesome. It was actually one of my first and I favored that one over Binance, that's when Binance first came out. I love Binance now, but it'd be exciting. I'm excited to trade on this again and see what they do. They've also expanded their team with some former Amazon employees and former members of the US Department of Justice and Homeland Security. So something unique about Bitrix, it's different than Binance and KuCoin. And it's actually different than majority of exchanges because it's located in the United States. So it's hold to a different standard and it usually has much stricter laws it has to follow. So we'll see how Bitrix does. Check it out. Let me know what you guys are think. Are you guys going to use Bitrix again? Does it have the potential to give Binance a run for its money again? I guess we'll see, right? The next article, pretty interesting. And it's making me FOMO even more, especially after talking about those six coins. So the article is titled... Bear market largely over crypto fund manager claims. So Timothy Inking, he's a managing director of crypto asset management, said Monday that the crypto winter is largely over. So I do want to know your opinion on this. Do you guys think that we're done with this bear market or getting close? 
He sees the four reasons for the collapse. We have asset consolidation, regulatory concerns, massive liquidity by the Mt. Gox trustee, and then the startup selling crypto assets to pay for salaries and expenses, with the top two reasons being consolidations and regulatory events. Now, I kind of agree with that part. We know a lot of people made a lot of money, sold, and consolidated their profits. And then we know all that FUD from the regulatory thing, the SEC. We know what that did. Then he begins to talk about how Bitcoin dominance has been falling. It was 45.7% on December 20th, and now it's around 44.3% according to this article. I did not check that. I guess I probably should. <laughs> so the decline in Bitcoin dominance has coincide with a declining correlation between Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Does this mean that individual cryptocurrencies are beginning to have a greater influence on the market prices? I personally hope so because as I said earlier, I can't stand how altcoin prices correlate so much with Bitcoin's price. And then basically at the end of the article, they state that the combination of the factors mentioned above and the market that the market should be rebounding soon. I know a lot of us are hoping for that. We've been waiting for that. So I guess we'll see. Again, I want to know what you think. Do you think the bear market is coming to an end? If so, my FOMO might be justified and I might need to go buy right now. <laughs> so I'm personally in the crossroads here. I don't know what to do. Do I do I jump in before this bull market hits? Because if it hits and if it hits anything close to December, I'm going to be so mad that I didn't buy. I have a pretty big chunk of my portfolio ready to jump into other coins. The coins I previously mentioned in those two videos. I love those coins. Let me know what you think. So until then, I don't mind staying in a bear market. <laughs> but that's kind of selfish, my own personal thing. I need to get my Bitcoin out of there and jump into those coins. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please help me get to that 8,000 mark and click that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.